Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode, first I have to announce the World Series of Trading, the new event over on Bybit. And then we also gonna analyze, of course, the Bitcoin price. We also gonna have a look on Ethereum and also on XRP because someone yesterday requested it on my yesterday's video. So if you also have any kind of altcoin that you want me to analyze, then just put it down below here in the comment section. And also thank you very much for all the likes and the views yesterday. I think we hit the record here. Thank you very much for your support, guys. So make sure also in this video to moon up the likes, subscribe to the channel and leave me any kind of comment that you want. All right. So before we begin with our TA, a big, big shout out to all the people over there on Bybit. They always are doing great stuff with the community. And right now they are announcing here this new world series of trading competition where we can win up to 200 Bitcoins. So in this competition, we can trade together as a team or you can also trade solo. So it's up to you how you want to trade because this event is going on from the 10th to the 31st of August. And during the competition, you can get a lot of bony. Also, you can uh, be participating on some giveaways. You have 20% off of trading fees and so on. So right now the official registering is opened and you can also join my team. Our team is called the Cryptos Avengers. You can just go down below here in the video description and register register to my team. If you don't have a Bybit account yet, you also find the sign up link to Bybit down below here. Definitely use the link to get all these promotions that we have right now during the competition and also tune in every day here because you can get some free bony as well, just doing like daily missions. And it is very easy and simple. You can get a lot of benefits if you're anyway at trading. And if you want to be part of my team, the minimum request is to have 0.1 Bitcoin in your wallet. You don't have to trade with this, but if you're joining the team, make sure that you have at least 0.1 Bitcoin in your wallet. Otherwise, we're going to have a negative uh, profit loss ratio. So you have always to have at least 0.1 Bitcoin in your balance during the competition. Afterwards, you can withdraw whatever you want. But of course, you're also free to trade with that money and there is a big price pool if you're trading together in a team or solo so definitely make sure to subscribe and participate to the event if you're anyway are trading you will benefit on many things and if you trade solo here you don't have to have 0.1 bitcoin here you have to keep at least 300 tether in your bybit account so here the minimum deposit amount is uh, way lower so it's up to you if you want to join the team or if you want to trade solo but i would definitely use and take this as an advantage to trade with less fees and also to get a lot of giveaways next to the big price pool that we have here during the event so make sure to tune in here on the event register to buy bit join my team if you want to trade in my team you find all the links down below here in the video description right at the top here and also don't forget guys today we're gonna select the winner of our ten dollar worth of bitcoin giveaway so later on we're gonna do the selection video so if you didn't subscribe yet to our giveaway make sure that you leave your comment and bitcoin address in the video that is popping up at the end of this video today is the last chance next monday we're gonna do the new subscription video for next week's giveaway all right so now we can start with our bitcoin ta later on we're gonna go through ethereum and xrp as well because here currently we are going insane and first off here on a bitcoin yesterday we had a potential drop here because we lost here this uh, support that we have created here at around ten thousand one hundred dollar we had an initial drop here but we immediately bounced again here at the 20 moving average in the four hour if we switch over quickly into the four hour you can see that currently the 20 moving average in the four hour is holding as a support which is a very bullish sign during an uptrend so that means that it is very likely that we didn't top out yet so we have to see what will happen once we're gonna end up here this consolidation area here at the top of the resistance at the top of this rising channel so we're right here at the resistance point but let's go back into the one hour time frame and let's adjust here a bit this wedge that we are currently in so it looks like that bitcoin is again consolidating here and if we're going to have here a breakout to the upside and also break this eleven thousand five hundred dollar resistance then we are off for the big race 
towards 12 or 14 thousand dollar because if we are breaking here this 11 thousand five hundred dollar we are not only just breaking out to the upside from this consolidation wedge but we are also breaking here this uh, big resistance that we have here from this rising channel that we are in currently and if we break out here to the upside i think there will be a long time till we're gonna come down again to maybe close this cme gap at nine thousand six hundred dollar down here at the bottom of this channel but if we are getting rejected here then i think it is very likely that we will come down here to close this gap down here and then have another bounce back up because i don't think we will stay for a long time down here if we are coming down to those levels and also to close the cme gap and also don't forget that we're still very overbought in almost all time frame so it is possible that we're going to have this uh, drop and also a break out here to the downside towards the bottom of this channel but as i told you if we are able to break here to the upside and also break 11,500, then for sure we're going to test first 12 14,000, maybe even 16,000 before we could see a potential dump towards 9,600 dollar so only because of the gap that we have at 9,600 doesn't mean that we will go immediately down to close it but of course it is possible and here in the one hour you can see that currently we're still keeping up here with the 20 moving average which is very bullish we have rsi above the 50 stochastic coming up into overbought condition so also here it looks like that we're gonna see a possible breakout potentially tomorrow because here towards the end of the wedge you can see it's already first of august so today we're gonna close the weekly and monthly candle probably in a very bullish way so even if we start bearish into the next month i think if we are able to close this month and this week also above ten thousand dollar we should be good to go for the long term so if we're starting bearish next month then take it as a chance to buy some cheaper altcoins bitcoin whatever you want but definitely this is not the time to sell because we already have the confirmation if we are closing this month and this week above 10k that we will start a huge big bull run in the next coming months so let's now also have a look quickly here into the bollinger band because here you can see that currently we are testing here the top at 11,200. macd shifted to the upside so if we're not able to overshooting now to the upside we could see a potential correction down here towards 11,000 again and if we go over to the four hour you can see that after we bounced perfectly here at the 20 moving average now we have the 20 moving average in the four hour as the support is perfectly lining up here with our support line and we should expect your possible breakout pretty soon only if you're dropping below this moving average and we're closing four hour candles below 11,000, then i think this could initiate the correction towards here the bottom at around 9200 to 9600 dollar also to close the gap but at this time we still have to wait for this possible breakout i think it's also possible that we just start to trade sideways here into the next month and then next month at the beginning first or second of august we're gonna see here a breakout also the rsi is cooling off now from being overbought stochastic is coming down to oversold condition so watch out here for the breakout in the four hour time frame most likely tomorrow or at least at the beginning of august i don't think that we will necessarily see today a breakout but it is possible so that's why keep your eyes here in the chart because we are in a very exciting time and big big moves are here to come so let's go over to the bollinger band here in the four hour because also here you can see that we're squeezing in this tiny channel here in the four hour time frames also here we are coming to a breakout pretty soon the problem here is that the macd is still shifted to the downside so we really have to wait where we're gonna overshoot here the bollinger band i think this will indicate probably also the breakout of this wedge that we are in currently so watch out for a breakout in the four hour time frame this could be very significant here for the next couple of days and weeks because i'm still not all in i still have some fiat on the sideline even though we are in a very important area where we could expect a big big move to the upside but i'm still expecting a possible correction as long as we are staying within this channel here and now let's go over to the daily time frame because here you can see clearly that we are far away from the 20 moving average which should hold as a support in case of a breakdown here so even if we would test here this lower area of 9600 dollar close the cme gap we should close the daily candles above 10k because then we would have the confirmation that the 20 daily moving average is still support and the trend is still shifted to the upside so in case that the price is dropping below 10k 
okay i would take it as a very good buy and long opportunity because a 20 daily moving average should hold as a very strong support during a bull run also here the rsi and stochastic are very overbought that's why i'm also still expecting a possible correction here even a short-lived one but at least to cool off a bit here the rsi and stochastic that is still very over but and if we have a look in the bollinger band you can see that we are back into the bollinger band but we are right at the top so also here it is very likely that we could fall here a bit towards the middle area which is also at around 10k to possibly test it have the confirmation that we have the support there and then have another big bounce to the upside because also here the macd still shifted to the upside it doesn't look like that we're going to have a bearish cross soon even though we could correct it to the downside this is looking really bullish so even though we could see a possible correction and a drop here which also could liquidate a lot of over leveraged long so we could see a possible long squeeze and then immediately come back up again that is also what we're seeing sometimes when there are too many longs compared to short so that's why be very careful if you're entering right now new trades especially longs and now since we're closing today the weekly time frame let's have a look here in the weekly because this big nice uh, green candle is in my opinion the confirmation that we are in for a big bull run even though a correction is possible we are getting very close to overbought condition in the weekly stochastic is still overbought so also here a correction is possible also to possibly test here the new support that we have here towards nine thousand eight hundred dollar so the old resistance should become now new support and that's why i think it is likely that we could have a possible correction here if we're getting rejected here at the top of this channel and look also at the 20 weekly moving average is right here at nine thousand two hundred dollar so even if we would drop down here to the bottom of this channel we should have the support here where the 20 weekly is also lining up and bitcoin always respects the 20 weekly moving average during a bull run so watch out in case of a drop to maybe buy some more and go long here when we reach these levels and if we are reaching these levels and now let's go over to the weekly time frame here in the bollinger band because also here you see that we're testing the top so also here i think it screams a bit uh, for a correction even though we are still very in bull mode but also here it looks like that we could potentially have an initial correction if we're starting next week here at the top of the bollinger band macd is also still shifted to the upside so also here everything is still looking very bullish and now we can go back to the bitstamp chart and open up the monthly because also the monthly is still looking very bullish and as long as we're closing above 10k everything should be all right so let's hope that at least we can close this month here above 10k so even better in this region where we are right now so even if next month we might have a little correction to the downside we have already here the breakout and that is confirmation enough for me that in the next couple of months and years we're gonna see a huge bull run here in bitcoin and overall all the crypto space and now let's go back to the daily time frame and have a look here on ethereum and xrp because ethereum currently since we had this breakout here from this big resistance at 250 is still pumping and it looks like that nothing can stop ethereum right now and as i told you also in many videos previously ethereum is the coin that is still very undervalued so also here 300 dollar is still very very cheap especially compared to the all-time high of the 1400 dollar but also here i'm expecting a possible correction even though i think the target is yet not met we can easily reach 350 to 400 dollars especially if we zoom out here you can see that in this area here at around 360 we had a lot of resistance and support so here we should expect some price action or a possible uh, rejection here to then possibly buy cheaper again at around 250 dollars again or maybe even 280 let's see but here it could happen that we will see some rejection in case that we can break immediately through 366 dollar this could fire up this thing towards 600 and 750 very very easily so watch out here ethereum can make still huge gains here compared to the all-time high we are still here in the bottom area so it's up to you if you want to wait for a possible correction down to these levels again at around 300 or you want to buy right now because here we have a lot of room left 
to the upside but as i told you guys also here you can see that the rsi is still very overbought so also here uh, we could expect a correction anytime soon and if we go over to xrp here it's also quite bullish because we had here this uh, falling wedge that i also pointed out in some uh, live streams uh, some uh, months ago and we successfully broke out here to the upside and also here it looks like that we're pushing here towards the next targets which are in my opinion towards 50 cents but here you can see that based on the move that we had here from the top at 34 cents and the bottom here at uh, 11 cents we came right here to the 0.618 fib line at 25 cents so it is possible that here we can have some uh, resistance up here let's see if we can push through because if we are able to push again above 25 cents in my opinion we can easily reach here the 50 cents area because also here in the past this area up here acted as a very strong support and resistance so it is possible that xrp is gonna double here in case that we can break through this 25 cents so also on xrp we have a lot of room left to the upside if you want to invest in some altcoins and you don't want to deal with the small cap coins maybe think about to diversify into the top coins like litecoin ethereum xrp and of course the most of it into bitcoin then you should be fine for the long term if you want to speculate or if you like some projects with small caps then do your research and maybe also invest in some of them but if you go with these top coiners especially these four that i mentioned then you should be fine for the long term and as you can see also here on xrp in the daily and weekly we are still very very overbought here in the rsi and stochastic so that's why if you want to fomo in right now maybe don't go all in just dollar cost average in case that we are dropping down again to retest the supports down here 20 cents maybe this is the perfect opportunity to go all in but currently up here 25 cents it looks like that we could top out here at the 0.618 fib line but in case that we are able to push through then yes the target could be even up towards uh, 50 cents all right guys and with that said they're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content please leave a like subscribe to the channel moon up the likes and make sure to subscribe to bybit if you don't have an account yet you find the sign up link down below here in the video description you can get up to 90 dollars bony and if you register to my team today you will get an additional 50 dollars bonus for early bird sign up so definitely make sure to sign up to my team if you want to trade as a team and if you want to trade solo you can also do that just sign up to buy bit with my link that you find down below here in the video description and before i'm gonna leave you just a side note at the end of my video there is always the outro and from now on the music to my outro is coming from my friend Caspro. So if you're interested in his music, you find always the links to the songs that I put here down below in the video description right at the end. So if you like his music, you're very welcome to go over there, listen to his music and also leave a comment that Alessandro the Crypto has sent you. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we see us all in the next one. Bye.